Welcome back to Inside Nashville. I'm Randy Goodman. I'm here with the Honorable Mayor Carl Dean. Um, one of the things that I wanted to ask you, uh, and having been in the music industry as long as I have, and now working with you on the Music Council, obviously music, live music, um, every aspect of music is something that's, that's very important to you, and I think most of us in the music community have been um, surprised by that, taken aback by that. I think when we tell people that, they're always surprised because I think that most people believe it, that historically it's been something that's always been a part of, of, of the mandate of any elected official, and it hasn't been. And, and, and at least in my career here, over 30 years, you're the first mayor that's really, I think, stepped out and, and put a stake in the ground to say music is very germane, very core to who and what we are. Can you talk a little bit about that? What was the genesis of that? How did that become such a prominent part of who you are as the mayor? Well, first, I think I realized before I ran for mayor and then certainly when I was running for mayor and I actually got some help from people in the music industry and, you know, had a great event. We One of the really very successful events was uh, an event at a restaurant that was put on by the women of the row. And I understood where the real power on the row is. It's not, it's not with the men, Randy. So, uh, but it was, it was a great event. And I really appreciated the fact uh, before I was mayor, that what makes Nashville so unique um, is a variety of things. Part of it's the entrepreneurial spirit here. Part of it is the strength of our hospitality industry. It is certainly, uh, we don't talk about it enough, is the importance of universities like Lipscomb that give our city an edge. And then the music industry, which really gives our city an edge. And then when you stop and think about the creative energy that, the, that musicians and, and, and people in the business bring to the city uh, and the energy they bring, and the attention they bring to the city, it, it just seemed to me that this is one of, you should always sort of emphasize your strong points. Right. And this was one of our strongest points. And we needed to do more to make sure that the music industry, number one, knew they were appreciated. And we needed to do more to see that the music industry expanded in Nashville. And that we, um, you know, I certainly think the brand Music City makes all the sense in the world. And that is something we needed to play up. So I was eager um, to work with the industry, to do whatever I could to, to show how much I appreciated it, and then to try to make it stronger. And maybe one of the benefits of not having been, you know, having been here 30 years, but not having been a native, um, you know, I've heard of the division between the row and downtown businesses and all that, but it, it didn't, it wasn't real to me. It didn't, mm -hmm. it didn't make any sense, you know. And so, you know, you meet business people from the music industry, you know, they're, they are uh, very sophisticated, very smart. They're clearly operating in a business that is enormous internationally. And really one of the strongest features of the United States economy is entertainment. And we're blessed to have it here and we should be doing everything we can to make it stronger. Absolutely. Well, and, that, and that's great, and we, we all appreciate that. One of the things you, you referred to in your comments was, was the entrepreneurial spirit here in Nashville. I know one of the things that's also been an outgrowth of, of your oversight has been the Entrepreneurial Center, uh, public-private partnership. Uh, and one of the things that I know that that's looking to do, and that's a big part of where we're going with the music industry, is the whole uh, tech aspect. Can you talk a little bit about the Entrepreneurial Center, and, and, and from the preamble, we talked about what are some of the new big ideas that are percolating, and I know that technology and how we grow some of those jobs and businesses are important. Can you talk a little bit yeah, about that Well, I think, us? you know, one of the greatest challenges the music industry has faced for the last 10 years or more has been to um, get its arms around the changes in technology. Obviously, people have a lot of ways to get music, and the challenge of the music industry is to be able to make a living in that field uh, when people are able to get music and without going to a record store and buying an album. Um, and so the technology changes that have come about, I, I just believe Nashville should be a leader in that, to find the solutions to how the music industry can continue to thrive and also to make sure we're on the cutting edge as new uh, forms of delivering music and making music become available. And, and I think that's a, a great niche for our city. And it not only will benefit the music industry, it benefits Nashville long term because I think it's important for our city also to be a city that has businesses that are uh, technology oriented. Um, and a great foot in the door for us um, with that is, is, is the music industry and the technology issues that they're confronting. The Entrepreneur Center, which is a relatively new organization in Nashville, uh, basically helps people with great ideas start businesses. They have mentors who work with them, and some of the mentors come from the music industry. 
And, and so I see that as just a huge plus. I mean, it's an organization I'd like to see flourish and, and become a huge part of Nashville's economy. Young people are the key to the, to the future of any city. And, and attracting uh, smart, ambitious, creative young people to your city and keeping them here is, is, is absolutely the key thing that we need to be working on. And the Entrepreneur Center, with the partnership, wor with working with uh, the Music Council, I think is, I think is uh, just a great way to go. It, it is, and, and you mentioned something that made me think under the first iteration of the Music Council, and something that you oversaw was the development of, of a place called Ryman Lofts. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, the Ryman Lofts is the city's first <clears throat> affordable community designed for, um, for artists. And the Ryman Lofts are, are being built right now. Uh, on Rolling Mill Hills, and uh, they will offer um, one bedroom and three three bedroom units that are affordable, and it's a place that's specifically designed for artists, songwriters, musicians, and other artists to have a place to live, to get established in Nashville, and to bring their creative energy here. I think it's really one of the most exciting projects the Music Council has worked on. I think it's going to have tremendous ramifications for our city, and it really sends out the message that Nashville wants creative people to come right. to Nashville. And you know we, we've always had it. I mean, you always we've had scores of musicians show up and songwriters whose capital is their ability to write a song or to play a song, and and we got to make sure we maintain that. Um, it's a, in, in, you know musicians and, and songwriters are dreamers, and that's what makes a city great. And, and so the rhyme and loss to me are key. There are other areas you know where the music council is not only technology. Obviously, another huge business in Nashville is hospitality. I mean, we, it's our number two private employer. It's an industry sector, about 53,000 people. And people come to Nashville for conventions, for tourism, for whatever. They come for the music. And, and, and there's no better indicator of that to me than what's gone on on Lower Broadway since I've lived in Nashville. When I first came to Nashville, when I was public assistant public defender, you spent I, a lot of time down there. I, I had I had I had a lot of cases I from down did. Lower Broadway, and yeah. and and there's a lot of things going down around there that people wouldn't be comfortable being there at night. And now I don't think it's any exaggeration to say that that lower that Lower Broadway strip is probably one of the most unique, compelling, and certainly the most authentic music corridors in the entire United States. And if you go down there any day of the week, almost any time of the week uh, of the day or particularly after a big event downtown, a concert or a, or a hockey game or a football game, people are just lined up. And, and the success we've had with uh, you know, our convention business and the, and, the, and the greater success we're going to have when the new convention center opens, that's built on the fact that people want to come to Nashville. Right. That convention say, people planning a convention say, Nashville would, be, would have such great appeal to our members Let's go there and hold our convention, and let's let our let our visitors see the honky tonks and take it all in. Absolutely. Stay with us. I'm Randy Goodman. This is Inside Nashville. We'll be back with Nashville's mayor, Carl Dean, in just a minute. <laughs> 